days, your normal day starts at 7. Uh, you go to the brewery to have breakfast and at 8.30 your working day starts. You would walk over to the blue modules, I'd normally enter through the command module and walk through the engineering offices. You'd work until around 10.30am and then you get a second breakfast, normally like cakes and bacon sandwiches and things. So you've got to walk all the way back over to the brewery. Um, at 11 you've got to start work again, so walk all the way to the modules, uh, work until 1 o'clock, then it's lunchtime. Uh, so back to the brewery, have lunch, 2 o'clock back in the modules. At around 4 o'clock you have a second smoko, which is normally biscuits and tea and things to keep your energy up in the cold. So you'd walk all the way to the brewery and then at 4.30 you're back in the modules work until around 5.30. And then the day is yours. You have dinner at 6 and uh, after that you can go watch a movie, you can go play some pool, go for a ski, uh, go play some music in the music room. What tends to happen is as the wind whips around buildings and cabooses, um, the wind speeds up along the sides, which means that there's less snow there. But then a vortex is created at the back, kind of like when you tailgate a truck, you get less wind resistance, so it's more efficient. So in this vortex, snow accumulates, so often the backs of these buildings and cabooses and uh, containers can accumulate meters of snow very quickly. So, if I, sh if I show you here, the front has no snow accumulation. But as we go to the back, you see a lot of accumulation. And so, you might not be able to see on the camera, but I'm about to go over a hill and down. Another one, go back down. It can be quite hard to see on low contrast days like today. But yeah, interesting, huh? What I'm doing now is filling something called the melt tank. The station gets its water from the snow around us. Um, we melt the water down for showers, for uh, taps, for all the drinking water that we use. There's an area of snow which I'm standing on now which is kept very clean so no vehicles are allowed to drive over it.
from this area of clean snow, we dig and throw it into this tank and there are some heaters in the bottom and it very slowly melts and holds it in this tank um, and this is supplying the whole station of all the water. So before you have a shower you have to top up the tank and genuinely it's pretty good because everyone pitches in but it takes a lot of snow to fill this tank because snow is 30% air. Yeah, it's not a very efficient process filling this tank up. In normal years, there's a big bulldozer that just rams snow into another tank, but that tank is offline at the moment, so we have to do it by hand in the smaller melt tank. This is where I sleep. This is my home for two months. This is this is where I sleep. This is my home for two months. Um, it's very comfy, very cozy. Uh, all this stuff up here. But to get down, you have to kind of jump. Four people in here. And it's a bit windy outside. It is quite stormy. taken a page out of the vlogging handbook I've set up my camera to do a slow-mo of me walking back towards the camera um, I'm told this is very good in the vlogging world um, but while you watch me walk back towards the camera uh, I'm gonna answer some questions someone asked on my Facebook um, what time we use uh, because it's 24 hours daylight we can choose whatever time we want there's nothing that's been dictated by um, the Sun rising or setting so we go with the same time at Rothera, which is the other British base. Because um, flights are coming to and from Halley, it's easier for they're both on the same time. So weather forecasting can happen at the same time and you don't have to get up earlier to prepare for a flight coming in. Rothera is at GMT plus three because um, Punta Arenas, which is where um, the flights come into the continent at Rothera, is at GMT plus three. So we're at GMT plus three because Rother is at GMT plus three because Pinto Arenas is at GMT plus three. Uh, another question we had was what kind of food are we eating? Uh, the food's all frozen and it's multiple years old. Uh, it tastes very good, the chefs are incredible. We have fresh bread every day. Next week we're due quite extreme weather. We're forecast 40 knot winds and it should make for some pretty awesome footage for the vlog. Thanks for watching and see you next time.